Apostle of Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Here's your weekly reading. I'll be stopping with Sagittarius tonight. I started with Virgo because today is the first. Yesterday was the first day of Virgo season. It's a little bit, a few minutes after uh, midnight. Wednesday, August 24, San Antonio, Texas. Starting with the dice. We have four Aquarius, two Cancer, the Moon, two Cancer, the Moon, two fours, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? So four Aquarius, four Aquarius, eight Capricorn. Okay, you're feeling good. Uh, you're feeling good. You're feeling energetic, perhaps the recent transit, Mars going into Gemini is energizing you in some way. Uh, see where that's hitting your chart, which house is uh, Gemini for you. We're coming up on the new moon in Virgo Saturday. Maybe you're feeling that energy already, the energy of the new moon in Virgo. Maybe that's, that's a sweet spot in your chart, perhaps. The Hermetic Tarot. Sagittarius. Little Moss. The Chariot. Lord of the Triumph of Light. The Will of Fortune, Sagittarius, Lord of the Forces of Life. Eight of Swords, Jupiter in Gemini, Lord of Shortened Force. Yeah, my nails look bad. They're dirty. I need to clean my nails, file my nails. Maybe I'll get really ambitious and paint my nails. I doubt it. Six of Swords, Mercury, and Aquarius, Lord of Earned Success. King of Wands, which they have as Leo, Prince of the Chariot of Fire. Ten of Swords, Sun and Gemini, Lord of Ruin. The song that I'm hearing is, It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. R.E.M. So if this is the end of the world, you're enjoying it. Uh, if this is a relationship that has... <clears throat> recently ended, you feel liberated. If a relationship has recently ended, you're very glad that it's over. You could be having a divorce party or something similar. Um, we have your energy strong in the middle row, the Wheel of Fortune over King of Wands. So you're feeling okay, you're feeling cool, stable solid. You're feeling no pain. And you're sober. I've been talking about sobriety a lot lately, starting with Virgo. Uh, you're sober. You're in your right mind. You're feeling good. You're feeling strong. You're feeling healthy. Your life is going exactly where you want it to go. There's this progression that you feel really fucking good about. Okay. Please clarify the chariot over six of swords, one card. Two 
Two of Wands, Aries, Mars, Lord of Dominion. Choice had to be made. You made it. You made the best decision with the information you had at the time. You're not second guessing. Uh, there's no regret. You could be making a major move and I'm hearing my life, Billy Joel. I don't care what you say anymore. This is my life. Dun, 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 dun. Go ahead with your own life. Leave me alone. I never said you had to offer me a second chance. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune over King of Wands one card. Three of Pentacles, Lord of Material Work. I love this card. It's showing Mars and Capricorn where it's exalted and I have that. I have Mars and Capricorn. So whenever I'm beating myself up, taking myself to task, oh, you're not enough this thing, you're too much this thing, you're deficient here, you're insufficient here, I say, okay, I've got Mars and Capricorn in the fifth house. Thus, I am a badass. Uh, Mars and Capricorn does not whine. It just generally gets shit done. You're getting shit done. Regardless of where your Mars is, you're getting shit done. Please clarify Eight of Swords over Ten of Swords for a card. Queen of Swords. I will cut a bitch. Well, she cut this guy's head off. He was probably a monster. He was probably fucking with her and she just didn't want to facilitate that. Queen of the Thrones of Air. Libra. You're cutting someone out of your life. Zero apology, zero regret. You're in this really badass energy. Uh, you're accountable for your life. You're not playing the victim. If this relationship ended badly, you don't regret that you had whatever you had with this person. You're very glad that it's over. You're moving on. You could be moving to a new city, state, country, moving to a new continent. But I'm just seeing unbridled enthusiasm. I'm seeing courage. I'm seeing you being glad as hell. Okay? It's good stuff. Six more cards for Sagittarius, say Moths. Yeah, I've got a wig on the way from Amazon. I was wearing this uh, wig that I got a million years ago at Spirit for Virgo. Didn't like the way it looked. So my hair is not manageable. I mean, if I... If I was really ambitious, I could do something with this. I could braid it. I could style it. I met this guy at River Center Mall August, um, August 2014. I was with my son at River Center Mall. I was taking him to the Disney store to get Evil Emperor Zerg and I was getting a MAC lipstick or I don't know. I was treating myself because there was money in the bank and that was that was cool. And I had just said, I am done with the men of San Antonio. I'm just, I'm done. And we were leaving the Disney store going toward Macy's and there was a kiosk and this guy said, come, I'll do your hair for you. And I said, I don't have time for that. 
did a double take. I liked the way the guy looked. As it turned out, he was the Sagittarius. Um, so he styled my hair. He flat ironed it. Um, he flirted with me. I thought, man, this guy's working overtime for that commission. And I liked him. So $400 later, I bought all this stuff. Well, it was a kid. It had the flat iron. It had a little mini flat iron. It had a curling iron or some shit. And he said, I really like you, so I'm giving you some extra products. He's putting all these products in the bag, stuff to make my hair glisten and shine. Uh, gave me his card. And so I texted him, and I was done, you know, because I was born in 73. I wasn't really hip to booty call culture, whatever. Um, I was very Venus and Aquarius, very la 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 la. So I texted the guy, and he just came back with, hey, red flag number one. But I didn't pay attention. Anyway, we had this kind of booty call relationship for about a month. I was partying with this guy a lot. His apartment was like 10 minutes away from mine. That was part of the appeal. <laughs> um, but I was trying to go to school in my middle age and get my basic bitch Bachelor of Arts in English at UTSA. I needed more sleep than what I was getting, so I just I cut him off. We just stopped um, booty calling each other. But I liked the guy's energy, and he could play the hell out of the flamenco guitar. All I know is that he was younger, and he had son in Sagittarius. That's, that's all I know. And his ex-wife... Uh, was an Aquarian like me. And my first novel, the first novel that I wrote, that I published at, um, what's at Amazon now? Nova's Gone Potty. The protagonist, Nova, in that novel, she's an Aquarian and her love interest, John, who plays the drums for this band in Albuquerque called Idiot Robot, he's Sagittarius. The stars, Typo, the star, Aquarius, La Estrella. Four of fire, four of wands, cuatro de bastos. Good times. <laughs> five of earth, five of pinnacles, cinco de oros, Mercury and Taurus. Venus in Aries for Four of Wands, Mercury in Taurus for Five of Pentacles. I associate Five of Pentacles with Capricorn. I just do. I don't really have any reason beyond intuition to associate Five of Pentacles with Capricorn. Well, Capricorn season, it's in the winter, the dead of winter, the cold, black dead of winter, the bleak of winter. It's around Christmas time. I mean, Capricorn season begins around Christmas time. And on the right or wave, there's the card of the little church. It looks like a church, stained glass window, right? And the two beggars in the snow, they are outside. They can't get inside the church. And I just think of Christmas, and I think of good King Wenceslas. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. All the snow lay round about, crisp and clear and even, brightly shone the moon that night. I could play that on my recorder when I was in sixth grade. Seven of fire, seven of wands, I did boss those. Uh, Mars and Leo. Yeah. In the Hermetic, it has the same thing. It has the Mars and Leo for the seven of wands. Probably in the Toth as well, Crowley's Toth. The Lovers, Los Enamorados. Hmm, King of Air, King of Swords, Ray de Espadas. What's going on here? Well, easy come, easy go, George Strait. I'm 
going to have to start taking that lion's mane supplement. I got the the gym goddess was talking about her morning routine and she mentioned lion's mane. Like, oh, that's good for cognitive function. I need to get the lion's mane. But I'm really bad about buying supplements at Amazon and not taking them. I need to get on that horse because my brain is just deteriorating. I can't think of the fucking lyrics of Easy Come, Easy Go by George Strait. George Strait has sent it to us. Okay, so something ended and you don't feel bad about it. Um, you could be having fun on social media. You could be getting a lot of attention. Maybe you're flirting, talking to different people, but there's nothing emotional. There's nothing intense going on. You're just communicating, flirting. Um, you're not trying to get close to someone. You're not trying to get into another relationship. If this relationship ended recently and it was significant, you probably at the very least lived together, shared a home, shared resources. You're not looking to replace this person. You're not looking to get close to someone in the immediate future. You're fine with your freedom. You like being alone. Um, you're just having fun. You could have this really active social life. Some of you could be going back to school. I'm seeing art school because I'm looking at a picture of an artist and he's painting this new woman. So that's a very literal, easy association. I went to art school at UTSA. After I got my English degree, I went to uh, art school for less than one semester. It was too humiliating. It was too humbling. Here I was in my 40s, surrounded by these kids who were 18, 19, 20, and they just, they knew what they were doing, and I did not. Um, but whatever's going on, I just see you being in a great place. Your energy is amazing. Please provide an energetic summation for Sagittarius. Three additional cards. the other night I love when people say you talk about yourself too much just shut the fuck up and read the cards no I've, I've got to row the way I row I had this really vivid dream the other night my dreams have been especially vivid since going to sleep with the trans serving reality pink noise in the background it's like an eight hour loop and uh, subliminal suggestions talking about how my world is okay. I'm, I'm doing well. There's no fist gone potty. I should read an excerpt. No, I don't want to stand up. You can see how fat I am. Um, I heard Amarillo by Morning by George Strait in this fucking dream. One of my all-time favorite songs. Amarillo by Morning Nine of Pentacles Maybe they were those. Up from San Antonio, Venus and Virgo Everything that I got is just what I got on. I ain't got a dime, but what I got is mine. I ain't rich, but Lord, I'm free. Amarillo by morning, Amarillo's where I'll be. The moon, La Luna. You think, oh, that's a cancer card because the moon rules cancer. No, it's Pisces. The magician, El Mago. Mercury. Il Picado, I don't know Italian. I'm just looking at this uh, robotic monster cock. I don't know what's going on there. Is she welding? Is that a torch? She's soldering the cock on there. Yeah, bitch, you're gonna give me a good time. <laughs> um, so I started this thing called Ebulence Press 
technically it's pronounced ebullience, but that just sounds so fucking stupid to me, so I have always pronounced it ebullience. Ebullience Press, I started around 2005 when I put out a zine called Instant Pussy, and I self-published my first novel at Lulu.com, Nova's Gone Potty, which I wrote in three weeks for NaNoWriMo in uh, November 2005. Anyway, this saying that I've said for a year, something along the lines of guard your ebullience like a junkyard dog. Don't let anyone take your ebullience away from you. Pimp your own ride, take the tacos where you find them, and try to find some pleasure, some measure of pleasure in this fuckscape, this dystopia that is uh, 2022, are we on 22? 2022 planet Earth. It feels really dense. It feels dark and dense. And you can do law of attraction all day, every day. Listen to pink noise. Listen to affirmations. Make affirmations. Scribble in a journal. Breathe in, breathe out. These are dark, dense times. I don't care what anyone says. I can see this little crescent moon and this cloud. 80 degrees, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Mostly cloudy. And I click on it and I see all the news that I don't want to read. So... When I click on it, I'm not reading about people being kind to each other and being generous. I'm not reading about unicorns and, and rainbows and lollipops, free lollipop day, free balloon day, Spongebob and Patrick and Sandy. I'm reading some harsh shit. Why do I do it? I don't know. I tell myself, don't go there. Don't read that. That's low vibration. Uh, be careful what you put out, what you allow in. But I go and I watch the true crime shit. Uh, at YouTube and I watch the Soft White Underbelly channel and to be honest it's pissed me off lately um, I don't know I've got strong opinions about it um, and you can go and read the comments of these videos at Soft White Underbelly and people have strong opinions so I brought it up so what is my opinion on him saying that his videos lately, a lot of his videos, especially the ones that feature these very attractive uh, whores, prostitutes, hookers, sex workers, they are being demonetized by YouTube and so you have to go to his channel and you have to pay $10 a month to watch it. And you can say, he's put a lot of his own money out there, absolutely. He's put his blood, sweat, and tears into that channel. And he does good work. Um, but I feel like, you know, he could do it just one time, you know, say at his channel, say in his description boxes, whatever, you know, this thing is happening, so you can go to my Patreon or you can go to my website and pay for the service, rather than just doing these little teasers, these little clickbaits, and, oh, if you want to watch all of this, you're going to have to pay for it because YouTube is demonetizing my content. I don't know. Everyone has their own opinion on everything. And that's why I just do YouTube, and that's it. YouTube is more than enough. I don't fuck with Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, because I get tired of the noise of all the different opinions. And there's there's Reddit, and there's just, uh, I can't. So right now I'm reading Such Read by Cormac McCarthy. And going full circle to what I'm talking about, you're reading for Sagittarius, whatever placements you have, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, Vertex, South Node, whatever the fuck. Uh... Cormac McCarthy is cancer. He has son in cancer. Apparently, Sutri is semi-autobiographical, but Sutri, the character, the protagonist of that novel, he reads very Sagittarius to me. Um, he's doing exactly what he wants to do. His life is not glamorous. It's not virtuous, but he's living life on his terms. He's not apologizing for it. That's the overall feeling that I'm getting for Sagittarius, this cycle, this week, we have, did I already mention, we have the new moon in Virgo coming up on Saturday. So how are you going to celebrate that? I don't know, but I see you celebrating it. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.